Nobody likes a news. They even talk about that moron in Minnesota named Aaron Hillman. Let's talk about Doodle Beer. What is it? It's all to be. Hey, what is up, guys? Hey, what is up? What? Hey, what is up? Hey, what is up? Um, <sighs> sorry, guys. What's up? And let's send out some links to their say One. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? Oh, um, um, I have a little something to say. Yeah, I have a little surprise for people. Um, I don't, I don't know if I'm allowed to say it, say it yet. I got a gift coming from a company. I don't know if I should say I might be getting it next week or something, but I got some got a little surprise for you guys. Can't say what it is yet. Yeah. What's up? You know, um, 
Thank you guys. Hope everybody, yo, hold on, let me see if this is a real channel, oh, what's up, Lou, how you doing, Lou, welcome, hold on, let me uh, get you a sub, how you doing, what's up, Lou, welcome to the stream, I just subbed to your channel, Lou. Thank you. Hold on, let me get to a moderator ship. How are you doing? Welcome. Let's talk about total beer. <laughs> What's up, guys? How is everybody doing? Um, thank you, guys. Shout out to um, you know. Thank you, guys. Um, Everybody is okay. Hey guys, what's up? How is everybody doing today? I hope everybody is staying safe. I hope everybody's doing well. It is your boy Jake. Yet again, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss an upload. Young. Yeah. 
again. Turn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when the please bring by something to me. When did I leave you as a wrong? When did I see you on the What's up, Clean Crabbers? How you doing? Oh, by the way, guys, shout out to Clean Crab guys. I love um if anybody that wants to do something with me, please reach out to me through my email. My email is on my about page on my about page. Please reach out to me there. Um yeah, because I, I love what you did. I love the game. I love that uh, thing that you did. Love that. You got Gino. You got everybody in the game. You included my former, uh, my former backstabber of a, of a co-host, Mister uh, Onoxus John. Yeah. My goal My is to get Um, kick. Mm. Um, even better. Yeah. If it, if it comes out, hey, uh, clean crevice, if it comes out, if it comes out in a, uh, uh, if it comes out in a real game, can can um can you can you send co can you send can I get a copy of it or do I have to pay for it? Because I would love to play it. Yeah, 
It's just a still work. All right. Everyone gets to play for free. It's a, uh, you know, it's, it's, it, it, you actually have Chrissy Mayer in the game. I don't know. You know what, Twitch? Twitch doesn't make Twitch. I'm removing you from. Have a nice day, Twitch. Everybody wants to say my name. Everybody wants to rub my way. Everybody wants to rub my way. Mm You know what? Uh, let me try something. Girl, I'm sorry you're losing the uh, thing because if this works. If this works, we will be Hey, what's up? What's up? How how's everybody doing? It's, um, didn't work. How is everybody doing today? I hope everybody is staying safe. Mm -hmm. By the way,
What is up, everybody? What's up? Thank you. Thank you. Give me a, give me a minute, guys. Be right back. Guys, my goal is I want to get eleven hundred. My goal is eleven hundred subscribers. Um... Yeah. Yeah. What's up, guys? Like the stream, y'all. Share the stream, y'all.
Um, What's up, guys? How's everybody doing? What's up, guys? Sorry, guys. I had I had to go potty. I had to go use the bathroom. Hey, what is it? 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 Hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. Gotta go use the bathroom. Check in. Taught him how to read someone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
What's up, guys? Uh, hey, Matt. Or is that is or is that uh Owen? Boom, bastic. Boom, bastic. Coming out the door. They're gonna stick something up his victim. What's up, bombastic? Yeah. Is this Matt? Owen doesn't have he got his own Owen doesn't have access to his face. Uh, Owen doesn't have access to this page. He has his own. <laughs> Can you come on? Got Chris Tidwell coming on. Might be coming on. <laughs> is uh, is Owen is Owen? Hey, um, Matt, I'll send you a link. I'll, I'll put it in the wrestling uh thing, so you can come on. It's in the wrestling champs uh group chat. It's in the Wrestling Champs uh, group chat. Yeah. By the way, I do have a... I'm listening while I'm at, at my breath. At, make breakfast. Okay, what's up? Boom bastic, boom bastic, boom bastic media, boom bastic, boom bastic, boom bastic media, boom 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 bastic, boom bastic, boom bastic, boom bastic media. Can you come on? Boom bass that, boom bass that, boom bass that, boom bass that. Everybody say boom bass that, boom bass that, boom bass that, boom bass that every day. You know, um, I'm trying to get some big celebrities in here. <laughs> this is not a big celebrity. Jake can't afford a membership. Hey. Uh 
<laughs> By the way, here's a new hit single for me. Tukey sucks, Tukey sucks, Tukey sucks your day. OJ, you are a big fat cunt every night and day. OJ sucks, OJ sucks, OJ sucks your day. Goodbye, B Dabbler, you faggot. Oh. <sighs> Playing. Playing him into his own team. Tukey sucks, Tukey sucks, Tukey sucks, Tukey sucks your day. Oh, day. 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 You are a big fat cunt every night and day. Oh, day sucks, oh, day sucks, oh, day sucks, oh, day sucks, oh, day sucks. Oh, day sucks your day. day. Goodbye, be dabbler, you faggot. You fucking, you fucking cut. OJ sucks, OJ sucks your day, OJ sucks, OJ sucks, OJ sucks your day, OJ sucks, OJ sucks. Tukey sucks, Tukey sucks, Tukey sucks your day, OJ, you are a big fat cunt every night and day, OJ sucks, OJ sucks. Can you guys hear that? Can you guys hear that? Uh... Okay. CM Punk is back in WWE. Hear what? Producer Roberto, how you doing, brother? 
dude, you got to come on. One, you did, you just did, producer Roberto, you just did, what, what's up? Chicken butt. What's up, R producer Roberto, please come up. Producer Roberto, you you've do, here's the thing you've done. You... <sighs> no, I thought you heard. But I'm, I'm watching Paw Patrol. I hope everybody is staying safe. Producer Roberto, come on up. You have a link in your in your uh, in your in your Twitter, Twitter DMs. By the way, hear this. Every fucking thing. Suck my dick. I'll suck yours. What? What? You heard me. Did you just say you're gonna suck Patrick's dick? Don't do it, Andrew. He don't deserve it. <laughs> oh, serious? Hey, Patrick lives in North. He he might not have a wife. It was good, by the way, Boom Bastic. It was good. No, that was a clip that I uh, found. Oh, here's what I, here's my go. Uh, that's my Thanksgiving dinner. Here's me as a potato. Here's me as Shuli. <laughs> Very rich for president. An old me from my like 2016. My foot. Da m da m bop 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 m bop.
Yeah. You know, I hope everybody is doing, I hope everybody is doing so. Hey, what's up, guys? How is everybody doing? How is everybody doing today? I hope everybody is staying safe. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss an upload. Um, Yeah, I hope everyone, I hope everyone is doing good. 
Hope everyone is doing good. Hope everyone doing good. Hey everyone, welcome to the show. Hey everyone, welcome home. Welcome home, welcome But, um, yeah. yes. I have two podcasts on Spotify, by the way, one for my Patreon. And by the way, this will be on Patreon. This will be on Spotify when I get a chance to put it up. And I have one that is not paid. I also one that is not paid.
So Hold on, I didn't. Um, 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 um. What's up, guys? How is everybody doing? Hello? Is this Jay Custer? I feel guilty about it. Jake, talk to me, please. Why didn't you answer your phone? Hmm. Goodbye. Uh, by the way, that was Bobby Nick. You know why? Because he's the only one from our, from from Everton. Uh, you you look up the area codes. And he's the only one I know that's from Edmonton. What's up, guys? What is up? What is What's up, y'all? How is everybody doing? How is everybody doing? Yeah. 
How's everybody doing today? How is everybody doing today? How is everybody doing today? Doing today? Mm-hmm. With a podcast, doing love you, doing too. With a podcast, with a podcast. With a podcast, with a podcast, if you put him to Um, mm-hmm. hey, back in. What's up, guys? How is everybody doing? What is up, guys? How is everybody doing? I hope everybody is staying safe. I hope everybody's doing well. I want to say thank you guys very much. Yeah. I hope anyone that's watching this live, not live, like, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss an upload. Share the stream, y'all, guys. So, hey, Jeb, you got a link. Jeb, I sent you one already. I'll, I'll, I'll resend it. By the way, I got a surprise coming in the mail in the next couple days. Um, all right. I just, I'll, I'm not going to say who is it from. I'll do the review of it. 
but it's um Silk City Hot Sauce is sending me something. All right. Love you, brother. You know, um, is, um, Is sending me some hot sauce to try. On. Stream. Try on stream. Um, What is up, guys? How is everybody doing? Um, I just want to say thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your guys' day to, to speak to me. Yeah. I hope anyone that's watching this live, not live, 
Mm. Yeah. Hold oh, no, on, I gotta throw up the new. I gotta throw up a porn blocker. I don't. Uh, son of a bitch. Sorry. Hello. Yo. Look who it is. Is that Chili? That was me. Um, oh, it is? A height ride made me. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. He did good with that. Hack ride's a genius at all that stuff. Ladies and gentlemen from the cut of the jib. Oh, we do have a little, little wrestling news. Oh. CM Punk is back. And he came out. To cult of personality. Okay. Did you hear that? He came yeah, out. I, know, I know nothing about wrestling. You, you know about cult of personality. I know the song by. Oh, Living I got some big news. Color. Um, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say this out loud because I just said it. I'm just I just got a I'm gonna be getting the delivery in a couple days from. Silk City hot sauce to try right. on stream to try either trying a video or trying a hot uh, knowing my you know you know my um ass reflux mm -hmm. problems yeah this is coming from a guy who but I'm what I'll do and, and if I like it I'm gonna try to get a code from them now I gotta ask I, you do you do you like uh spicy stuff I um uh, I tolerate it. Okay. Okay. Hey, uh, by the way, uh, a little bit of uh, if you, anybody's asking about Cut of the Jib, Cut mm -hmm. of the Jib has a show called Rock Talk Live where they talk about rock stars. And I also heard that Dustin is having someone. I don't know who he is. Dustin Bones is going to have someone on his show today. Oh, is that the interview that he did with the guy from one of the bands he likes? I think so. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He uh, he's been hyping that for about a week now. I think yeah. he let us know who it was a couple of days ago, if I remember correctly. All my days are running together, man. I, hey, I um, I'm killing myself I, is how busy I am. Hey, let me show you something. You want to see something yeah. funny? Sure. Oh, nice. New computer? No, TV. Oh, okay. Okay. Air playing it to the to the TV. That's cool. No, what I'm doing is I'm I have the I have the YouTube feed up. Oh no. Nice. I have the YouTube feed up, so that's how um but I have it on mute. Gotcha. I'm I'm gotcha. streaming right now. I'm streaming. <laughs> cool deal. Cool Hold deal. On. No. Even flow runs around like butterflies. Hey. Oh, he hey, um, hey. 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 Yeah. I wish you a Merry Christmas. 
I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. <laughs> I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. Uh, we got to talk about one person that, dude, what do you think about Pat uh, Robertson? Oh, uh, yeah. You know, Pat went crazy the last 20 years of his life. He had a good period from about... Um, you know, about 96 or so till about 2004. He said a bunch yeah. of crazy stuff in a book that he had written in the 80s that was um, very anti-Semitic. And then as he started to get dementia, he just started saying crazy crap after that. You Listen, I, I just want to say to the people that are, are going to say, oh, Jake, Jake's guest is... I don't care what people say. Jake's guest. Or, here's the thing. My guest. If they, are, if they say I'm boring, they're act. They're right. <laughs> no, they're, they're not saying they're boring. Boring. Basically, the other guest that I'm just trying to get. I was trying to get Chris uh, Tidwell to come on the show. Oh, really? But gotcha. He had, He's sitting there doing an interview with uh, Conrad Thompson. Okay. Conrad okay. Thompson's uh, father-in-law's Rick Flair. Oh, okay. Okay. My dad's friends with Rick Flair. I've never met the guy, though. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, which is funny because my dad's a suit and tie kind of guy. And every time he's at the airport, he always runs into Rick every single time. Yeah. Um. So, I got a question. Have you ever heard of the song "Jump" by uh, I think it's Van Halen? Yeah, of course. It's an iconic song. Yeah. Everybody yeah, gets that, Everybody, everybody gets that confused with "Jump" by Crisscross. Oh God, who who is getting those two confused? You know what I'm talking I mean, about? Yeah. They make your one jump, 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 jump. Yeah. And then, of course, Van Halen is might as well jump, jump, jump. Go ahead, yeah. jump. By the way, how many life of the highways do we need? I think we just need the the uh, the original by uh, what was his name? Tom. Something Cochran? started with a C. Yeah. And everybody's got uh, the Bon Jovi got the best. Uh, well, want it. Alive, I'm saying yeah. I'm wanted. It's an outlaw song there. He was good but, at those outlaw songs. But but now you have uh, McGunchy Gentry did a wanted dead or alive. Same so is it a cover of it or is it just yeah, same time? Yeah, cover. It's, it's a cover. Yeah, you know, and that's I, with the name like Montgomery Gentry. That sounds like a country artist. Is that a country yeah, artist? It is. It is. Okay. Here, let me. Let me. Let me. Also, I would rather listen to the original "My Maria" than Brooks and Dunn's "My Maria." My Maria. My Maria. Uh, hmm. I don't know uh, that uh, here's the thing. I just also want to tell you. Uh, by the way, we lost Marty Craw. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, kidney failure. Oh gosh, that's no fun. Because that's you know going on dialysis for God knows how long. And yeah. Oh, did man. you see the Do Did you see Dolly Parton wearing that Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders uniform? I think she did yeah. like a halftime show for them, yeah, didn't she? Yeah. By the way, Luke Combs did Fast Car. You ever heard of Fast Car? Yeah, yeah, the um, Tracy Chapman song. Yeah, but they did, uh, Luke Combs did cover of it. Yeah, I heard it was really big, but I don't understand these um, country artists going and covering, you know, rock and pop songs. I, yeah. I just don't get it. I, I, I Brown, uh, Ronnie Dunn did Brown Eyed Girl. Yeah, and Everclear did a a good job of um, 
Brown Eyed Girl as well by uh, Van Morrison. Uh, I, uh, Jason Aldean did I Won't Back Down. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, I Won't Back Down by... Come back to... Uh, Tom Petty. Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. A lot of uh, uh, a lot of covers out there. Yeah, uh, I just I'm also looking at some of these. Um, one that I'm looking up. Uh, someone named Aaron did "Bad Moon Rising" by CCR. Okay, okay. Well, that you know that's a revival. Yeah, that's an old '70s song. So you know, I mean, your person can go and update that a little bit. Maybe do something different uh, with it. If they're doing something different with it, I'm all cool with that. I'm actually. I don't working know on a co- there's a, there's another person Warren something did a simple man I don't know if it's the uh, Leonard Skinner one or the mm-hmm. uh, Charlie Daniels one. Well, there's also the um, was it Stained? I think did a version of it as well, didn't they? Yeah, uh, but he, and the, the Charlie Daniels one and the and the one and by the way, this is a little something in the show Mountain Man. The first couple seasons they used a simple man. And I'll be a simple kind of man. Would yep. you do this for me, son, if you can? I'm actually uh, um, got a uh, cover song I got coming out next week, as a matter of fact. I'm doing a cover of uh, Blue on Black. Are you familiar with Blue that song? Blue by hell on the river. Push on the shove, kill me. Uh, they, uh, I, forget the guy, I forget the artist. You know, uh, Kenny you Wayne know, Shepherd Band. Kenny Wayne, also, uh, also, uh, 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 Five Finger Death Punch did a version of it too. Yeah, and I didn't like that version. You know, there, there's, there's something about the original with Kenny going and using the octave fuzz on there and the acoustic. You know, it, yeah. there, there's just something it, it goes and brings about a, you know, I'm actually using yeah. an octave fuzz pedal on that. Uh, and also, uh, Brentley Gilbert did an, uh, uh, have you, you know, uh, one of my favorite songs, you know, uh, one of my favorite, I didn't like, I don't like where they had like rappers do, they had, uh, not Little Wayne, they had a uh, little, little, little Chris do a Jason Aldean song. Oh, really? Yeah, see, they have, that's are they sampling it or doing the whole song? They, 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 they're they doing like a remix of it, okay? Okay, also, remixes it, can kind of be cool at times but. over and over, over and over in my head. I'm over and over again. I'm thinking, uh, it's a uh, I'm not uh, sure. Uh, Nelly and uh, Tim McGraw did a song oh, that's, and over and over. Oh, that's an interesting combo right there. Yeah. Hmm. Also, um, I want to ask this question. Did you, Bill Ingball's got a Christmas song called Here's Your Sign, Christmas version of it. Here's your sign, here's your sign, here's your stupid sign. Wear it proud, wear it proud, and wear your stupid sign. And the sign is I'm stupid. Uh, you know, uh, the, these Christmas albums are just, you know, they're, they're just goofy. There's only a couple that I like, like, I like the Vince Guaraldi trios Christmas album and I like yeah. Diana Krall's Christmas album, Yeah, you know, jazz and Christmas kind of go together very well, I think. Yeah. But I didn't care for Michael Buble's Christmas album. Yeah. It, hey, you want to hear something funny? Every t- episode that we have ever done, Chris, you, by the way, did, did you see that I posted a few, uh, thing on Patreon? Oh, did you? I'll take a look at it a little bit later. Yeah. But I want to say that you have been supporting me more than, you know, here's the thing. If Bobby, Bobby needs to come up. Bob, Bobby, Bob, Nick. Okay, what do you mean he needs to come up? He's. Are you sending him a link? Uh, Is that what you're saying? 
I sent him a link. He was one of the first people to get a link. Oh, cool. Yeah, Bob. Yeah, Bobby's a good guy. I was gonna send Aaron a link. I was sending Aaron a link. Yeah, I don't know what Aaron's doing or, or um, Andrew's doing right now. No, uh, Aaron M. Holt. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, he might be take enjoying a little bit of time off. You know, he he does. What is it? A four hour stream? He, dude, he three did a times ten a week? hour. He did a ten hour on. Um, wow. He did a ten hour on uh, on Friday. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that guy needs some needs some rest. What did he do for ten hours? Was it yeah, just story he, after he story? Stories plus he played uh, he played some videos. He was supposed to be a uh, oh. he was supposed to be a six hour stream. It ended up being a ten hour. Oh, that's the up, Rumble Friday, right? No, no, this was for his uh, ten year. Oh, so for, gotcha. his, uh, for his uh, three year on uh, uh, three years off of radio. Oh, okay, okay. I see. I did not know that he had that going on. Wow, ten hours, man. I did twelve hours once, and that about killed me. The twelve hour. Yeah, I did a twelve hour several years ago. Um, because I was helping to raise money for um a guy in Kenya that is starting a synagogue. And um, oh no, so, I, it, 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 was it one of those African princesses? That no, they, no, 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 no. This was somebody that we that we knew personally that we've talked oh, to. I thought it, but because uh, you don't want to hear African in these money. The oh yeah. Terms. And see, and the bad thing is that like a lot of them have supposedly have orphanages they need money for and all this stuff, and ninety percent of them are fake. And I was like, "Oh man, you're in the wrong business," you know, going to starting an orphanage because this guy actually had one, you know. And it's yeah. like, oh my gosh, because so many people get taken for a ride on that. There was one guy that needed a laptop several years ago, and um. Get this before I knew of all the scammers out there and all that stuff. And I ended up going and sending the guy a laptop. And then like a couple of weeks later, I get the same email from the guy again, saying that he needed a laptop. And it's like, Oh no, you got screwed. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So, you know, there, there. You got to, got to be diligent with that stuff out there. There's a lot of scammers out there. You got fucked. You got fucked. You got fucked in the ass. You got mm. fucked. You got fucked. Uh, oh, I gotta play you something. Okay. Tookie sucks, Tookie sucks, Tookie sucks your day. OJ, you are a big fat cunt every night and day. OJ sucks, OJ sucks. OJ OJ's sucks a good guy. Goodbye, be dabbler, you faggot. Now, 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 what happened with, um, I heard something. Somebody told me that El Harible got his stream taken down. Oh, yeah. Uh, he got a copy because, uh, because of King Dabbler uh, got his panties in a bunch. And okay, who's Paul King Cutler, Dabbler? Uh, the guy that you uh, stream sniped before. You were the first stream sniper. Oh. Oh, see, that is just a bad move. That is not good PR if you go and start striking people for goofy stuff like that that tookie oh sucks, tookie sucks, tookie sucks your day oj you are a big fat cunt every night and day oj sucks oj sucks oj sucks your day goodbye be dabbler you faggot golly <laughs> i like those guys <laughs> going asshole Nice going, asshole. <laughs> you got a bunch of sound drops there. Oh, that's Corn Diff's music, isn't it? It's the uh, it's the um, it's the music they give you on uh, Streamyard. 
Oh, okay. Corn Diff used that a lot whenever he was um, 3D printing. OJ sucks, OJ sucks, OJ sucks your day. OJ sucks, OJ sucks, OJ sucks, OJ sucks, OJ sucks. Sorry, guys. But, uh, hey, I want to ask this question. Yeah. Dude, we got to talk about something. What's that? To the people that that don't know the uh, the, the people that are watching the when that listening to this not live on the podcast platforms or on our Patreon. By the way, Chris, you're the only one that's listening to this on Patreon. <laughs> um, need to work on that. Need to get some more people over there, man. We got to talk about something. What do you think about the general? I think the general sucks. What? I think the general sucks. I have not heard it. I've heard... Was this the one that was AI made? No, no, there, no, no. It's, there were some axle covers that were done with AI and all that stuff. And uh, some of those actually turned out pretty good. But the general was just a big letdown. And I told everybody beforehand, I said, it's a B side on something that's not getting a digital release. That means it's not that good, but everybody's yeah. like, Oh no, 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 you're wrong. And then when we got it, we ended up getting two songs. We got a leak of the general and we got one of monsters and a hundred percent of the people said the general sucks. Monsters kicks ass. Yeah. And, um, yeah, in fact, uh, I ended up playing it on uh, Rumble yesterday, and uh, Bobby Nick ended up going, send me the MP3 of Monsters. I don't care for the general, but send me Monsters. Yeah. Um. Hey, I do remember, Here, here's the thing, I do remember when I, when, you want to hear something funny? Sure. My dad always loved listening to a certain rock station here in Mississippi called Rock 104. Mm -hmm. And they and B95 always every day at like 12 o'clock they'll have the, the uh they'll play classic stuff. They play record they'll play stuff uh request. And one of the top songs they'll always play is a song uh it was a um I think it's called uh, it's from my like Paul someone and it, it, so they play a little bit of everything. They played okay. even the Pearl River, going down to the Pearl River. Okay. And they'll also play a lot of like they played a lot of uh, music from the eight the nineties. Mm -hmm. But they'll also they also played a little bit. Uh, they played a parody, Christmas in Cambridge. <laughs> Oh yeah, we had we had a station like that over here. It might still be on. It's was ninety five seven, the ride. Oh, they're they making me some drink. You want some? No, I'm good. I got my uh, Coca Cola right here. Yeah, I heard you had a blood sugar problem. Uh, it was just a little bit low because I've hey, just been remember, busy, busy, um, busy this right, morning. Hey, I want to I want to talk about something. I know that you're old enough to remember Marty Kroll. H and H and R Puff and stuff. I think the yeah. I also remember uh, they were they were at, they actually had a show. On, I think they're the ones that created the show for uh, Nick, Nickelodeon. They did a show about a dog. dog Loose clues. No. No. They they did some shows, but I remember back in the day no watching, but. Was it pound? No, it was no. like a. It was a. You're making me think. God damn it! Thanks a lot. Oh, I'm dude. sorry. I'm sorry. By the way, um, our truth is back in wrestling. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't know anything about wrestling. Yeah. But I want to ask this question. Do you know? Um, do you know? Here's the thing. 
I did a uh, here's the thing. Marty Crawl. Here's let me show you. I'm gonna give you a list of Marty Crawl Crawl to uh, show Land of the Lost. Oh, I remember Land of the Lost. Yeah, I used to love that as a kid. Yeah, um, it's a program that Crawl produced primetime shows. Donnie and Marie, Barbara Mandrell and the Mandrosses, and the Pretty Bunch Variety Hour. Oh wow, Donnie and Marie went on for a, for a while. The Brady Bunch Variety Hour was very short lived. I think it only had like, if I remember correctly, wasn't it only like an episode or two. That's about it till it got canceled. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You know, and you know, I remember watching George Lopez and seeing H and R Puppet stuff on. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something for you. Sure. I'm gonna open Chat GPT up. Yeah, all righty. And I'm gonna do and I'm gonna um. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I want them this. I am. I have an idea. It's gonna get. I'm gonna ask you a, qu a couple questions. All righty. What is the top 10 top uh, 10 rock bands of the time? He's going to put Five Finger Death Punch at the top. I guarantee you. I can't stand uh, that band. All right. Here. All right. The top 10. All right, ready? Number one, uh, number one, number ten, Metallica. Okay. Number nine, Nirvana. Ugh. Eight, GNR. Okay. Number seven, The Who. Yep, yep, yep. The Who deserves to be up there. Six, ACDC. They deserve to be up there. Five, The Rolling Stones. Definitely. Four, Pink Floyd. Yep, yep. Three, Queen. Yeah. Probably two, not that high on the list, but, you know, they deserve to be uh, on there. Two, Led Zeppelin. And the yep. number one, top, top, the top, uh, the number one on this list, the Beatles. Of course. Of course. <laughs> yeah, that's a, yeah, that's a pretty, pretty good list and you know even though i'm a big guns and roses fan i don't see i i don't think they deserve to be that high all right. on the list all right i think they should be like number 12 or something like that top 10 rock singers of all time mm. all right all right i got the top 10 ready okay oh no The top ten rock singers. Number ten, Bruce Springsteen. Yeah, no. Number nine, Bon Scott, ACDC. Them, yeah, that makes sense. Number eight, Chris Cornell, Auto Slave, Soundgarden. Mm. No. <laughs> Number seven, Dennis Joplin. Yeah, S somewhere, maybe that not that high on the list. Number six, Steven Tyler, Aerosmith. Yeah, yeah, he deserves to be on the list. Number five, Axl Rose, Guns N' Roses. 90s and before Axl, yeah. Axl now, no. Uh, David Bowie is number four. Yeah, that makes sense. Number three, Mick Jagger, Rolling Stones. That makes sense. Number two, Robert Plant, Led Zeppelin. Except live, he was a he was a train wreck live. But that entire band number, was a train wreck live. And the number one, Freddie, number one is Freddie Mercury, Queen. Mm, I disagree with that. <laughs> he was more of an operatic singer than anything else. You know, there was a rock element to him. All right, but all right, um, hey, in terms of traditional rock, no. 
All right, here we go. You ready? Top 10 rock albums of the year. Uh, no, not the year. Uh, of All time? All time. All right, I'm gonna let it um because we got a couple. And this is probably going off of sales figures, I guarantee. All right, number ten, number ten, Radiohead, OK Computer, nineteen. Oh God, no! <laughs> God no! Number nine, ACDC, Back in Black, nineteen eighty. See, I'm not even an ACDC fan, but yeah, they deserve to be on that list. Absolutely. Um, Number eight, The Who. Who's next? 1971. Yep. Bruce Springsteen, Born to Run, 1975. No. What the <laughs> hell? They're in love with Bruce Springsteen at Chat GPT. <laughs> Six, The Jimi Hendrix Experience. Are you experienced? 1967. Yep. yep. Oh, no. Number five, Nirvana, Nevermind, 1991. Uh, okay, whatever. <laughs> Number four, the Rolling, the Rolling Stones, Exile on Main Street, 1972. Yeah, the, yeah. Led Zeppelin, what is that, uh, uh, five or six? Uh, let me see if I can zoom in here. Uh, oh, that's Zeppelin four. And yeah, that's the one with Stairway to Heaven. So all yeah, right, that fits. Four, nine, all right. Number two, Pink Floyd, The Dark Side of the Moon, 1973. I think The Wall's better than Dark Side of the Room or, or Dark Side of the Moon, personally. Yeah, and number one, The Beatles, St. Papers, Lonely Hearts Club Band, 1967. Yeah, that makes sense because that right. paved the way for a lot of other people. All right, I got, I got, I got one for you. Ready? Okay. The top ten female rock singers. Ah. Of all time. Janet Gardner better be on that list. As well as Lizzie Hale, she deserves. Oh to be on no, that list. I, I gotta redo that. I fucked up. Okay. Top ten. Female rock singers of all time. Um, oh crap. What's that? All right. Number 10, Alanis Morissette. She she started a movement in the 90s, I would say, in terms of her styling. So, yeah, that would make sense. Sorry, hold on. I'm sorry. Number nine, Bonnie Rafe. Oh, Bonnie Rafe. Raitt? Yeah. Yeah, Bonnie Raitt's incredible. Uh, Number eight, De Debbie Harry Blondie. Yep, yep, yep. She, she kind of crossed over into everything. Rock. She even... Basically, but uh, brought rap to the forefront, you know. Right, so uh, I mean, number, yeah. Number seven, Christy Hyde, The Pretenders. Yeah, big time. Yeah, love The Pretenders, absolutely. Number six, Patty Smith. Yep, yep. Pat Patty Smith was amazing. Right. She almost became the lead singer of Van Halen, by the way. Bob, Grace Slick, Jefferson Airplane. Yeah, yeah. Number four, Joan Jett. Joan Jett's a better guitarist than she is a singer, but number, okay. Number three, Ann Wilson, Heart. Yeah, yeah, 80s Heart was the best. Number two, Stevie Nicks, Fleetwood Mac. No, God, no. <laughs> and number one, Jenna Joplin. <sighs> I, I, I don't think I would put Janis Joplin that high up. You know, I mean, get a Carly Simon in there. Janet Gardner, Lizzie Hale. There's so many that should be on that list. And honestly, should I, Janis this, Joplin, should I rename this? Should I rename this Rock Talk Live? Uh, Jake's Rock Talk Live, since we're talking about 
Yeah, if you want to. By the way, Robert Spann has a couple of suggestions for you in the chat. All right. What? All right. Think pendulum I'll, got, got clear, clear, clear oh, water I got water knees down there. I got one. Okay. Top 10 rock songs of all time. Bitch is going to put Stairway at the top. Smoke on the Water is going to be on that list. Iron Man's going to be on that list. You were right about number one. Oh. You weren't supposed to reveal that till the end. <laughs> um, oh, here's are you right? Um, uh, he, uh, here's the first one: Purple Haze, Jimi Hendrix, number ten. Yeah, that makes sense. Whole lot of love, Led Zeppelin, number nine. Yeah. Hey Jude, the Beatles, number eight. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Number number seven, Born to Run, Bruce. What the hell? They kind of try and put Bruce Springsteen on all these lists. What the hell? <laughs> They're like, we're no. forcing Bruce Springsteen down your throat. He is a less talented version of John Cafferty and the Beaver Brown Band. Uh, smell like Teen Spirit, Nirvana. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I imagine by John Lennon is number five. It's a gay song. Uh, Hotel California Eagles is number four. That makes sense, yeah. Like a Rolling Stone, number three. Yeah. Bob Dylan. Number two, Bohemian Rhapsody, Queen. Yeah, it deserves to be on the list, but not that high on the list. But guess what number one is? You said it Stairway. before. Stairway to Heaven, Led Zeppelin. Yeah. All right, yep. I got another one. I'm surprised Top. they didn't have Iron Man on there. I got, I got, uh, you know what? Hold on. Uh, uh, um, I got one for you. Top 10 songs from ZZ Top. Right, Rough Boy top. better be on that list. I love that song. <laughs> uh, no, it's not going to be on there. Oh, damn, that sucks. <laughs> All right. G All right, number 10, Jesus Just Left Chicago. That makes sense. Got Me Under Pressure, number nine. Yeah. Two State Boogies, number eight. Yeah. I'm Bad, I'm Nationwide, seven. Eh, okay. Cheap sunglasses, number six. Mm hmm Five is legs. Yeah, that yeah, that was a big hit. Four, tush. Yeah. Three, give me all your loving. Yep, yep. That 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 was huge for many years. Number two, sharp dressed man, and number one, Lagrange. Yep. That makes sense. That makes sense. See, what you would try to do is do top 10 Van Halen songs and see if they try and ram David Lee Roth down your throat. <laughs> I'm going to smoke a cigarette real quick. I'll be right back. <laughs> top 10 Van Halen songs of all time. I'll tell you what, I'll switch my microphone while I'm going and doing this so I can respond to you there. Hold on. All right. Hold on. Are you there? Can you hear me? I can hear you, brother. Okay, cool deal. All right, number 10 is Beautiful Girls. Of course, a David Lee Roth one, not a hit. Okay, <laughs> Number nine, Jamie's Crying. Yeah. Eight dancing the night away. Yeah, that was a cover, but okay. Unchanged is number seven. Mm -hmm. Hot for teachers, number six. Yeah, so far, all daily rock dudes are trying to push 
ain't talking about love. Another, another one from, from Bad Hand with One. Yep. Running with the devil. Yeah, yeah that's his word, to be honest. <laughs> Panama. Panama. Yep. So far, not a single Sammy song. Why is that? Jump is number two. Yep. And number one is eruption. You got you really got me. Okay, now here's the thing. Jake, you may not know this, but every single one of those is a David Lee Roth uh Van Halen song. Now now tell me how this makes sense. Let me switch my mic. Because <laughs> they have David Lee Roth. What? They had they had one number one song with David Lee Roth. That's it. <laughs> Just one. Guess how many they had with Sammy? Good. They had four number one albums with Sammy Hagar. Oh, well, I, explain I got... to me how it is um, that none of those songs made it on the list. Here, here, here. I, oh, I got I to gotta do this. I got to do something. My oh, crap. Top 20 rock groups of all time. I thought you already did that. No, I, said, I did the top 10. So you just got to do 20 to uh, 11 then. They're probably going to put Van Halen on there. All right, number 20, right, Rody, Radiohead. No. God, no. <laughs> 19, Pearl Jam. Which Pearl Jam album? No, it's just the band Pearl oh, Jam. The, uh, yeah, they have their place, I guess. 18, Van Halen. Okay. 17, The Doors. Yeah, yeah. 16, Deep Purple. Yeah. Yep, Deep Purple deserves to be on there, definitely. 15 Guns N' Roses. Okay, yeah. Number 14, R.E.M. R.E.M., yeah. They're more college radio, but yeah, they would had some rock aspects, okay. 13, Black Sabbath. Yeah, Black Sabbath should probably be higher on the list. 12, Fleetwood Mac. Mm. They had one big album. That was mainly it. Just rumors. 11, 11, the Jimi Hendrix experience. Yeah. That one should have been higher up on the list. 10, Nirvana. Uh, okay. Number nine, the Eagles. Yeah, definitely. Eight, U2. U2. <laughs> that would work in pop, maybe. Not necessarily rock. Uh, seven. Uh, ACDC. Okay, yeah. Number six, The Who. Yeah. Number five, Pink Floyd. Yeah. Number four, Rolling the Stones. Yep. Rolling the Stones. Number three, Queen. Number two, Led Zeppelin. Number one, The Beatles. No. Okay, okay. I can see Robert Spann is a big... Um, Nirvana fan. He's he's been putting in a couple of different Nirvana things on there. Um, uh, you know, and the yeah. thing is, it's like, it, and, and the thing is, it's like, you know, I don't know what this is going to say because I'm. It number one. This is not me. Um, I'm gonna take it off now. Yeah. And I know a lot of people are saying, and I know a lot of people don't watch this show, but I'm I love music, and and you know, and it's like, by the way, where sticks? Where the fuck is sticks? Yes, yeah, sticks. Aria Speedwagon, Foreigner, Bad Company. You know, there's so many that should be on those you lists. Know, you, know. you know, you know, the, 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 they're trying to put David Lee Roth. Where's the fucking Sammy Hagar music? Yeah, you know, and I, I, I'm i a big fan of Gary Sharon. I thought Gary did the best he could. And I think that many people are getting 
um, a little bit of appreciation for Van Halen three nowadays, but I do understand why his stuff would be left off the list. I do because it's so different from anything yeah. else in the Van Halen catalog. Robert hey. says, you know, he journey that there there's, there's another one. There's a band that is constantly in turmoil, but they're still yeah. pumping out even good stuff today. You know, and, and, and the thing is, it's like, what? Well, and by the way, to the people that that's not copyright, that's me going on chat GBT. Yeah. You know, if, if, you, if you're thinking that's copyright, go tell the Shuli Network. I'm doing the same thing the Shuli Network did. <laughs> yeah, I don't were... think anybody's going to claim copyright on that. I don't think anybody's going to do that. Yeah. But, but you know, the thing. You, you know yeah. what's so funny, Jib? Is every fucking time I hear music, it's it, they, they, they play the same old fucking tunes. No mountain, no Mississippi Queen. What the fuck? Yeah. Van Halen did a cover of Mississippi Queen, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Where's, there, well, there's, where's the, there's hey, still. Hey, I got a question. Um, Radio plays just. They just want to play what they want to play, and they don't want to play anything. Well, they play what they're being paid to play, essentially. That's why you constantly hear the same songs over and over you know, again. I, they all sound the see, same. I hear you want to hear something funny. Back in the day, they were playing their our local country station is now a, a, a soul station. Hmm. I like soul music. Oh, Holly and Oates, uh, we have an yeah. update on that? Yes, and I was right in my initial video on Holly and Oates. The restraining order was over something financial. Uh, uh, John Oates wants to sell uh, one of the trusts that they have that I think controls some of their music. And so yeah. come to find out a couple of days later, it came out that the restraining order and the lawsuit was to stop him from selling that until certain things are worked out. And so, you know, many people were thinking that if it's a restraining order, it's a domestic situation. And I said, no, this 99% of the time that is true, but there are certain times that it has to do with financial things. There is in no way whatsoever that John Oates is in any way a threat to Daryl Hall, considering that Yo. John Oates is basically a midget. You know? Yeah. You know, for a long time, I thought the Family Ties theme song was that, was it? You know, uh, by the way, Robert Spawn says, Jim, I really like your shows about music. You know, you definitely know your shit. I, I know some stuff, and I only talk about the stuff I know. You know, so. But thank you there, Robert. I appreciate that. What was it you were saying about Family Ties? Oh, I thought I thought the theme song. I found out later it wasn't. Uh, I thought the th song was a. Uh, you got. I got your kiss is on my list. Your, your kiss. Yeah. I, I thought that was the theme song to Family Ties. Oh really? <laughs> oh no! It's uh. What What would you do, baby, without? By the way. Yeah. By the way, you want to hear something funny? What's that? Ever the people that? By the way, I'm showing my bathtub. There's that mm -hmm. soap, the soap brother, that's Reed Street soap that I have. Oh, There's very cool. I, have to use it. I use it. Nice. <laughs> Robert says, is John Oates the richest backing vocal singer in rock history? No, you, you know who should be? Just by the way they look are the girls that sang for background in 1993 for the, uh, uh, for the Brian May band. Go and look up Brian Mayband 1993. Look up the cover of them doing the Rainbow Song. Since you've been gone, you won't be able to take your eyes off these girls, and they can yeah. sing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, by the way, I want to show you something. Oh, cool deal. Is that you as a kid? Yeah. Nice. Very yeah. cool. But uh, I I also you know my dad didn't like my dad like how it was like he he was like we were watching all in uh 2018 the first pay per view that they did on before it was uh it was the pay per view before they they came AEW and my mm -hmm. dad was like he was we were watching the buy in 
episode, the buy in mm-hmm. show on WGN. And my dad said, That guy's butt fucking that girl. Oh gosh. <laughs> Jake, Jake, you want you you want to hear a creepy theme song? What? Don't play it on 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 a streamyard so you don't get a copyright issue. But play it to where to where only you hear it right now. Look up season one theme of Charles in Charge. Charles the girl in that's charge. it's Charles. yeah, but but the season one theme is different from the rest of the of the series. The well, girl that sings that has a creepy voice. I mean, it's just, it's creepy. Hold on. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll look it up. I'll look it up after stream. Oh, that's, that's gotta be cool. Robert Spine said a music podcast. I religiously just had John Oates recently dissecting the writing prompts process of man eater. That has to be interesting. I, I'm not going to copy What's that. Man eater? It's a hollow note song. I'm going to copy and paste that and I'm going to save it so I can watch it later. Yeah. Um, oh, by the way, I just want to tell you that we, we might, uh, I just want to plug some sponsorships, but we just, just put on some deodorant by the way. Oh, nice. Very cool. And it's a whole hour of them dissecting this. Oh, this is going to be good. Yeah. Yeah, I just want to say thank you to anyone's watching. You know, we're, I, I, I gotta, uh, you know what? I'm gonna pull chat GBT up because I gotta do some chat. I wanna do a chat GBT something. Okay. Did you listen to that theme song, by the way? I'll listen to it later. I told you that. Okay. Okay. All right, you ready? Who is stuttering John Melendez? Oh God. It's gonna read as I am is uh Wikipedia, I guarantee it. John Melendez, Wally known as Stuttering John Melendez, uh, Stuttering John, is a comedian, radio personality, and former television personality, being per- member of the Howard Stern show in the 1990s, where his Oh God. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Here we go. Ready? Yeah. Who is? I got. I got one. The love. Oh, look. Yeah. Bubba the Love Sponge, whose real name is Todd Allen Clem, is an American radio personality, shot jock radio. Okay. And, and Bubba's had been associated with hyper figures and incidents, wrestlers. Oh, my God. Thank God he, they didn't bring up him, fuck uh, him, his, his wife getting butt fucked. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was a whole fiasco there. That's probably the controversy. All right, here we go. What is the biggest controversy? All right. What is the biggest controversy in rock music ever? Ooh, that'd be interesting. Because there's so many of them. Is it Paul McCartney being dead? All right, uh, here uh, is giving me six of them. All okay. right, six sex, drugs, and rock and roll culture. I think that's only a controversy now. I don't think it was during the time. Uh, five Eminem and controversial lyrics, two thousands. Yeah, well, that was that was big at that time. People don't talk about that now. <laughs> Marilyn Manson in the Combine shoot in nineteen ninety nine. That was kind of a big deal, yeah. The Parent uh, Music Resource Center 
in Rottler's controversy in the 1980s. Yeah. Yep. Tipper Gore going and leading that whole fiasco. <laughs> Two, Ozzy Osbourne in the Suicide Solution lawsuit, 1980s. Yeah. Yeah. Probably the bat, the, the bat biting was probably bigger than that. But And number yeah. one, the Beatles' most popular than Jesus remark. Yeah. Yeah, that was a big mess up on uh, John's end there. I, I, I got I got to do this. I got to do this. Top 50 rock groups of all time. Top 50? <laughs> Chat GPT doesn't even know 50, I wouldn't think. Uh, they, they, uh, they got 50 here. Uh-oh. Oasis is on the list. That makes sense. That makes sense. All right, you ready? Okay. 50, the Alton Brothers Band. Yeah. Number 49, T-Rex. Yeah, definitely. 48, Leonard Skinner. Yeah. King Crimson, 47. Yep. Judas Priest, 46. Yeah. 45, the set, uh, the Smashing Pumpkins. The Pumpkins are higher than Priest. That's interesting. 44, Soundgarden. Eh, okay. 43, Pixies. Yeah. 42, The Police. Yeah. 41, Def Leppard. Yeah, oh, they should be higher on that list. Yeah. 40, Oasis. Yeah, they, they they really started something in the 90s with Oasis. Many people were comparing them to the Beatles at that time. 39, Cream. Yeah, definitely. 38, The Birds. Yeah. 37, Yes. Yeah. That's more prog. 36, but, yeah. 36 Ramones. Oh, definitely the Ramones. Definitely. 35, The Cure. 34, yeah. The Velvet Underground. 33, yeah. Talking Head. 32, Journey. 31, Bon, bon Jovi. 30, Queen with Freddie Mercury. 29, mm -hmm. The Kinks. Genesis yeah, is 28. Definitely. The Clash is 27. Credence. Mm -hmm. Credence Cold War Revival, 26. Rush, 25. ZZ Top, 24. Van Halen, 23. Deep Purple, 22. 21, Metallica. 20, Aerosmith. 19, Pearl Jam. So, well, let me get this straight. Per Pearl Jam's higher up on the list than Aerosmith. Yeah. How the hell does that make any difference? 18, The Doors. 17, Radiohead. Well, how the hell is Radiohead on any of these lists? <laughs> Number 16, the Beach Boys. Yeah, the Beach Boys, yeah. Definitely. Pet Sounds. The Eagles is 15. Guns N' Roses is 14. R.E.M. is 13. Black Sabbath, 12. Fleetwood Mac, 11. 10 is the Jimi Hendrix Experience. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, I think you went through uh, the top twenty already. Uh, no, this is a little. This is this is some. Uh, they they remake these lists a lot of times. Nirvana nine, eight, U two, seven, ACDC, number six, The Who, Pink Floyd's number five, The Rolling Stones is number four, three is Queen, two is Led Zeppelin, number one, The Beatles. Gotcha. Now you you want you want to see a list that'll probably really piss me off on there. <laughs> what? Top 10 rock guitarists. All right. They'll probably go and use the same list that Ro the Watch Mojo did, which I tore apart. Top 10 rock guitarist of all time. Hold on. Oh, God. Who is David Gilmore? Pink Floyd. All right. Here's the top 10. 
Number 10, David Eltman, Eltman Brothers Band. Yeah. Tony, uh, Tony, uh, Iomi. Iomi. From Black, Black Sabbath. Sabbath is number nine. Richie Blackmore, Deep Purple, Rainbow. Yeah. Eight. Slash, seven. Yeah. Well, Slash really shouldn't be that high on the list, but okay. Uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan is number six. <laughs> He's only number six? Oh, hell. <laughs> um, David Gilmore, five. Yeah. Eddie Van Halen is number four. Yeah. Jimmy Page, three. Jimmy Page is freaking number three. <laughs> uh, 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 do do the rest of the list, and I'll come back to that. <laughs> Dude, Derek Clapton. Clapton, yeah, definitely. And one is Jimi Hendrix. Okay. How the hell does Jimmy Page end up on these lists? Seriously. He is one of the sloppiest guitar players on the planet, and he just sticks to the pentatonic scale. Every, everything is, is, is pentatonic. Now, I will give him this. Many iconic riffs are, you know, were the product of Jimmy Page, Stairway to Heaven, Whole lot of Love, um, you take uh, the live version of Days to Confuse, which is incredible. But the thing is, in terms of a technical player, Jimmy Page cannot hack technical playing. He really can't. But um, uh, Robert Spann brought up a bunch that were not on the, the list. Um, Alex Life, uh, uh, Alex Lifeson, you know, absolutely should be on that list. Fogarty, I don't know much about his playing to really have a thing. All Tom right, you Delong, know what? I got, I got one. Go. Yeah. Top 10 rock drummers of all time. J John Bonham's going to be number one. Uh -huh. How'd you guess? Because everybody goes and talks about John Bonham. That guy was insane. All right, here, you ready? All right, here we go. Um, number, number 10, Phil Collins, Genesis. Yeah. Yeah. And hold on for just a second. Phil not only was able to do the pop stuff, he had a jazz band as well. And you got to be damn good to play jazz drums. I mean, he is incredible right. as a drummer. Um, number nine, Charlie Watts, the Rolling Stones. Yeah. Dead, number, but yeah. Num number eight, Mitch Mitchell, the Jimi Hendrix experience. Yep, yeah, he held it together pretty well. Number seven, David Grohl. Ah, uh, David Grohl. He he's a great all around musician. To peg him as just a drummer, I don't think he. And no, I, I I would disagree uh, with that. Yeah. Wait, was he the guy on uh, Ink Master? I don't think he. I don't think so. He's the guy that was in Nirvana and Foo Fighters. Yeah, so He's I, the lead I, singer of Food Fighters and was the drummer for Nirvana for a period of time. Uh, Stuart Copeland, the police, number six. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck the, me, Ringo. Oh, fuck me, Ringo's number five. Yeah, Ringo gets a lot of crap, but I think Ringo oh, was me, really Ringo, a very good drummer. Ginger Baker, Cream, number four. Yeah. Number three. Is Neil, Neil Peart on the on the list? Number three. Okay. Zero three, Neil Pearl Rush. Number yep. two, Keith Moon. And number one, you got it, John oh. Bono. John Bono. Yeah. Keith That's Moon. It. I didn't even think of that. But yeah, Keith was up there. Yeah. And, and, and here's the thing. By the way, why the fuck is Ringo Starr on this fucking list? Ringo was, uh, you know, Ringo gets a lot of crap. He really does. But I, he, but I do have gets, to say. He gets thrown in our damn faces all the fucking time. Well, the thing is that he is a darn good drummer. He may not be the greatest songwriter of the Beatles, but he was able to make the changes when the Beatles were kind of right. toying around with different sounds and all that all stuff. Right. Ringo was able to hold it down. Talk in order to be a, Sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. It's okay. Top 10 rock band controversies. Didn't you already do that? I did the top eight. Or... 
after this list, I'm gonna have to go and make some lunch real quick. Uh, by the way, number two, uh, number one is the same as the number one for the other one. Yeah. But, all right. Oh, good. Number ten, it- radio. Oh, ten, Radiohead, Exodus from EMI, two thousand seven. Who cares? Nobody cares about that. It's no controversy. Uh, Marilyn Manson and controversies, nineteen ninety to two thousand. Yeah, yeah, he was very controversial when I was in high school, big time. The Doors, the Miami incident, nineteen sixty nine. Ah, uh, where he showed his ding, where he showed his winky on stage. Yeah, Metallica, Metallica versus the fucking Napster, two thousand. Yeah, yeah, uh, that that's when we all realized that um, that what's his name, um, uh, uh, the 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 drummer whose name I know, uh, but I just can't remember. He's gay. Basically, he just kind of proved himself to be gay. I can't believe I'm blanking on his name. I know his name, but I'm just blanking on it. All right. Um, all right, here we go. The Sex Pistols and Public Rock out, uh, Outrageous Behavior, 1970s. Oh, big time. They were a problem for Great Britain. Man. Yeah, all right. Guns N' Roses, one in a million song lyrics. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that definitely. Wasn't on the box set that came out by the way they they left for, that one for Eminem's lyrics and controversy state uh, Eminem's lyrics and controversy statements 2000 yeah yeah um Ozzy Osbourne in the suicide solution lawsuit mm-hmm. to the Rolling Stones I uh, concert uh which which concert oh that's the one where all those people died there's also yeah. a Who Who concert where that happened as well. Wonder why that's not on this list. And the number one was the Beatles' most popular than Jesus remark. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and, and here's the thing. I just want to say this. You know, they 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 they're trying to put ring. Oh fuck me, 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 fuck me. You know, and it's like they're they're trying to put like they're they're putting all these big bands on. Where's the hello? Where's the where's the the dancing toe buzz? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, you, well, you take for instance, Robert Spann makes a great point. He said, "You remember a lost profits." Yeah, no. go and look at what happened there. That was a huge scandal. Um, no. he was he was you know doing things with little kids. What about Pete Townsend going and getting caught with child porn? How come those things? Oh, could it be that Google, you know, tries to protect those who were involved in child pornography? Could yeah. that possibly be the case? Hey, uh, hey, 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 uh, uh, uh-uh. can we not talk about Google? Because we're all on Google. This is oh. not Rumble. Gotcha. Can we not talk about that? And and and, and I'm going to get my channel struck. I'm sorry. The alphabet soup, I'll call them. Dude, do you realize that I'm going to, if, if if you say something on the show, this is going to have to be a Rumble exclusive when we talk about this. But no. Sorry. Hey. Sorry. You can slap me. No. Um. Do you, do you realize last time that I've like not talked about like wrestling and stuff, it's like, but the one, the, the one band, you know what? Let me see if I can pull chat because because I wanted I want to tell you something. What's that? I really want to. Um, I know. Just just hear me out before you uh, leave and yell at me. Just hear me out. I want to try something. Okay. I want to see the top ten pops bands of all time. Yeah, there's great ones out there. I'm not anti pop. I'm anti new pop. That's All right, here it. we go. Top ten pop bands of all time, and do not. Uh, I know number one is gonna. The Beatles is number one. Of course, of course. And they had to. 
Dude, they had to lap in post in sync and backstreet boys together. Oh, they're 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 on the same number? Yeah. Oh that that's very interesting that they would do that, huh? Number 10, One Direction. Yeah, they 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 had their time in the spotlight that was really big that kind of would have rivaled number, the... number, nine, number 9, The Supremes. Yes, definitely. Number 8, In Sync and Backstreet Boys together. I didn't know the difference between the two, so maybe it is that ChatGPT didn't either. So Seven but yeah, BGs. that makes sense. Seven Bee Gees. Oh, definitely the Bee Gees. Definitely the Bee Gees. Six BGs. Spice. Spice Girls. Oh, yeah. I actually just watched a documentary on them. They were Jackson really good. Five, Jackson 5 is number 5. Oh, absolutely. Jackson 5 are incredible. Beach Boys, 4. Yep, yep. Queen, 3. Yeah, okay. A Abba's two and number one is the, the fucking Beatles. Abba, my gosh, they were they were outstanding. Did you see what they're doing now? No. They're doing lot they 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 they, they got back together. Top okay, so they're putting pop singers of all time. They got back together and they are having digital avatars play them on oh. stage. That is them. In there, oh shit, you guys didn't see that because I, I didn't put it on the screen yet. I didn't put it on the screen yet, but no, okay. all right, I did talk. And oh god, Freddie Mercury is on the list. Are you ready for the list? Yeah, 10 Celine Dion. Okay, yeah, Celine was huge and an incredible singer. Nice, incredible, Freddie, Freddie Mercury, number nine. Okay. Yeah. Eight, all right. uh, eight is Mariah. Oh, man. Yeah, she was incredible in her younger years. Her first three albums, incredible. Seven. Seven is Stevie. Stevie Wonder. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Stevie Wonder is one of the best of the best. Six, Prince. Oh, definitely. Prince. You do, Prince was an all-around... Genius musician on everything. You still hey uh, uh, Deontay's on is the next one, I think. What is Deontay is uh, the next one? Beyonce? Eh. Beyonce is number five. Whitney Houston is number four. Elvis is yeah. number three. Madonna's number mm -hmm. two. And Michael Jackson is number one. Of course. King of pop, Michael Jackson. Oh, Robert Spann makes a good point. Lionel Richie. Lionel Richie should be on that. Lionel Richie. There was nobody better than Lionel Richie. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. You know. But, I'm trying to see hey, if I can get it. I, I, by the way, are, you got to leave. I got to jet out and go um, do some diabetic stuff there, buddy. All right. Any plugs? Uh, Cut of the Jib YouTube channel. Mainly do music. We do some other stuff over there, too. But <coughs> <coughs> Mainly music. Go and check it out if you're interested in that. I know Robert, is. Um, he's he watches the videos over there, and it's always good to see him in the chat over there. Yeah, That's, and also, um, uh, guys, um, I just also want to say thank. Um, I just wanted to say that um, go check out Cut of the Jib. He's an awesome person. He's a five dollar member of my Patreon. <laughs> yeah, and, and this you have will a great be, rest. Of hey, oh, oh by the way, this this is, will be Patreon exclusive. This is not going to be on our uh, on our. Um, I'm, I might put it on pocket on on on, <laughs> on Spreaker. Okay. If I want, if I don't want, if I don't want to deal with, I might put it on Spreaker, but, but I might not. I might put it as a, um, as a, a, a Patreon thing. All right. Thank you very much, and you can see yourself talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Have a good one, Jake. Thank you. Bye.
That reminds me, I got to go and um and um and get the host ready to. I got to host someone. Um, I just want to say thank you guys so much for. Um, we had a lot of fun talking about uh, stuff and doing something that I would love to. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I want to say thank you guys very much. Um, um not leaving yet. She says, Lord, baby, I'm a porn star. I just want to say thank you guys very much for... Oh, I got to get the... um. What's up? Passing here, how you doing? Let me get the, um, let me get the, the hose ready to go. Talk amongst yourselves. You're welcome. You know, um, I just want to say thank you guys very much. I just want to say thank you guys so much for, you know, it, this will be, this will be a page. I think this will be a, a page on exclusive show because we're, um, this will be a Patreon only audio. Let's talk about total beers. Um, I just want to say thank you guys so much to the people that watch the stream. Like the stream, y'all. Share the stream, y'all, guys. Share the stream. Like the stream. Take, you know, we're giving you guys some great stuff. We just talked about a bunch of shit. We we did chat GBT for you. We talked, you know, this was this was a great episode. This will be a, this is a great episode, guys. And you know, like the stream, y'all. Share the stream. This will be a Patreon only on Patreon exclusive. I just want to say thank you. Um, I want to say, guys, be true to yourself. Thank you guys so much. And I will, um, I'm going to say this out loud. I love what I do every day. I love this business and the business ain't for the weak of heart. And I'll talk to you when I talk to you. Bye for now.